Hey everybody, welcome back to microreviews.com. Today we are going to review the Wilmington Brewing Company Beach Time Session IPA. It's 5.4% ABV. It's brewed out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, Wilmington Brewing Company has done a bunch of different uh, spin-offs, one-offs, whatever you want to call it. This one I got in a six-pack. Uh, I got it uh, probably uh, 10 days uh, after it was actually canned. They can all their beers. Um, for a while, they didn't can any smaller beers, or uh, cans, 12 ounces. They were all 16s, but uh, it was pretty cool to see them breaking into the 12 ounce. So this picture, this aerial view, probably taken by a drone, it would be my guess, is the intercoastal waterway uh, outside of Wilmington. And it's got all these boats, just, I don't know if you can see it, just sandwiched park next to each other which is a real popular thing in that area where instead of driving to the beach and paying to park and parking your car you get in a boat and you dock upon these islands and hence the uh, term beach time so I think it's a, a great name uh, it's a great label I've never had this beer I know nothing about it and um, let's get into it so um, pretty orangish in color uh, it's got a nice white lot of, of of tight bubble head there um good carbonation nothing residual floating around oh huh, smells not what i expected uh caramel malt hops are more on the, what i would call the bready side uh, i can't pinpoint the hops maybe centennials if you look on their website they don't really tell you anything about their beers it's not that they don't want you to know but they're very nondescript as far as the different um, ingredients in the beer. You can smell hops. It's te it definitely smells like there's more than one. But if I were to totally take a guess, I'd say it's Centennial and Simcoe. Not Citra. Not Citra. Or not Citra. Not Citra. Not Mosaic. It's not real florally. It's not real fruity. Let's get in the glass. Cheers. That's pretty good. Now for a session IPA at 5.4%, it's got a lot of flavor. The flavor is, it's similar to if you've ever had Founders uh, Day, uh, day uh, All Day IPA, it's very similar to that. It's got a medium body feel, it's got a nice finish of hops from front to back. It's not fruity, it's not florally, it's not any of that. It is a straight up hop. IPA definitely with more than one IPA in it so you do have some complexity in the profile as well which is pretty nice um, it's easy to drink it's very smooth it's very drinkable it's got a little bit of a um, kind of a, a sugary caramel sweetness to it on the back palate which is actually kind of nice so Tons of really good flavor for a session. Again, low ABVs. Um, tastes like it, which is which is what you're looking for. That's the the market people go after with this. And I rate my beers between one and five. I'd give it a three and a half. I'd buy it again. I'd drink it again. Um, I would definitely keep it in my refrigerator. Price point. Um, I think it was. I think it was about sixteen dollars, um, which most of their beers are. And uh, like I can get them really fresh. So if you can get them, get them fresh, drink them, drink them fresh. Uh, let me know if you tried it. Leave comments down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We upload all the time. We, as always, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.